Hello YouTube Tobacco and Joint Community. Back with another pipe tobacco review. Uh, smoking my Hansidic Morta. And I wanted to try this. Uh, Borkum Riff uh, mixture with bourbon whiskey. Uh, years ago I tried their, uh, oh, they called it Ultralight. Borkum Riff. But now it's uh, called Original. And I remember it was... Uh, mild and had a hint of vanilla but I've never tried this I tried their cherry Cavendish or cherry liqueur I can't remember uh, and uh, I obviously didn't like it because I never bought it again but so I'm giving this a go um, when I first opened it up it smelled like rum yeah smelled like rum casing um, the reason I said that is because uh, years ago there was a a tobacco store called Colony Tobacco and one of his blends was a cured burley uh, it's, it was a cubed burley it was it was actually white burley that was uh, cubed cut and it was cased heavily cased with rum that's exactly what this smells like but it's not burley this is not burley this is Black Cavendish in Virginia. I'll get to the recipe here in a minute. It says, uh, our, our bourbon whiskey recipe consists of approximately 35% Black Cavendish. And they go into real, real de detail here. They say, from Africa, Europe, and the Philippines. Mixed with 65% Virginian from Brazil and Africa. As a final treat, notes of premium whiskey flavors are added to create a distinctive taste and aroma. So, uh, the blend I was telling you about was Hal's blend. It was cubed white burley, heavily cased with rum. This is Virginia and Black Cavendish. As you can see, it is a ribbon cut. That is a ribbon cut stringy stringy ribbon cut okay and it is uh, Borkum Riff's most popular blend that's what I've read several places when I first lit it I could tell it was a Virginia blend I could tell that it was cased with bourbon even though it smelled like I said rum it's okay it's worth trying I believe uh, it was uh, the famous authors um, oh gosh what was his name he wrote a couple of pipe books it's not Hacker. Um, I, I think, I want to say it was a, uh, oh shoot, my memory fails me. Maybe it'll come back to me before the, uh, um, oh gosh, the end of this video. Um, he wrote the book called Confessions of a Pikeman. And I think I did a, vi yeah, I did a video on that, uh, references of, to uh, Tobacco Canna. But yeah, he wrote, um, the Pipeman, Confessions of a Pipeman, and he wrote in here that this was his aromatic of choice, if I remember correctly. Aromatic of choice, because it's definitely an aromatic. Um, so, well, anyway, I wanted to throw that in. That was a, uh, like I said, um, I've tried three of their tobaccos now. Uh, 20 years ago was the Borkum Riff Ultralight, which they call uh, original now, and it was a light hint of vanilla. It was okay. Um, the, 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 it was either the cherry Cavendish or the cherry liqueur, but I obviously didn't like it because I didn't buy it again. Um, but hey, who knows? That may be on the list again to try both of those. I haven't really had much luck with cherry blends lately, as you recall, the Paladine Black Cherry. So, or the Captain Black Cherry. So, anyway. But this isn't bad. Worth a try for their most popular blend. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. Uh, continue to subscribe and I'll have another pipe review down the uh, road for you.